morning everyone. Today is a big day uh, for Sarah. We are going to attempt to try out wearing no diaper. We're going to do panties. And so we got some Elsa with some frozen panties, you know, I think Melissa showed them earlier. And Sarah's trying to put them on right now and she's having a little bit of problem. I'm not gonna show this obviously for obvious reasons, but let's just say we're we're working on our way to put them on. All right, one foot, Sarah. All I'm saying is that she better. This is gonna be a weird, weird day. All right, Sarah. The condition on wearing these is that when you go to the restroom, you need to go to the restroom. Do you understand? You cannot pee in your panties. You understand? No peeing in the panties. You have to pee in the toilet, okay? Okay. Okay? High five. You're going to pee in the toilet? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to ask you today, a lot of times, when you have to go potty. <laughs> you're going to go pee in the toilet, okay? I <laughs> Do you think you look cool? Do you look cool, Sarah? You look cool? What is it? What? Rocket? Alice is crying, I know. We're gonna go get her. Let's go get some clothes on too. Come on. I lost it. Yeah. Now to make this whole thing a more seamless experience, I think we are going to have to remove the gate because I don't want her to have any kind of symbol of impedance or something that will make her think, oh, I can't go. Daddy has to be here. Because if I don't catch her, she will probably go probably there anyway. So we're going to put this away temporarily. And pick those things up. Can you go potty? No. How about we go anyway? Because you just had some water and cereal. Mm. Let's go. Come on. I can hear her pass gas and she's like, I don't have to go. Look, no more gate. The fence is gone. Huh? Yeah. Nothing blocking you now from going putty. And since you're so good at going up and down the stairs, I'm not really that worried. Huh? Isn't that cool? Come on, let's go putty, come on. I know, I gotta fix the wall because a long time ago you had pushed the fence and it kind of broke a hole. Well, she's done it once so far. <coughs> Let's hope she keeps it up. I am kind of afraid because I know at some point today I'm going to have to clean up the I'm a little worried because pretty soon it's going to be her nap time and that's going to be an issue because I don't think she knows how to hold her bladder while she's sleeping. So I'm debating do I put a diaper on her whenever she takes a nap or do I leave her in her panties because I know I know there's going to be an issue. She's gone potty twice so far, which is good. But uh, I really don't want to clean up the mess. So I might put her in a diaper here soon. It's already 12, 16. She just had lunch. She's having a little snack now. So... Diaper maybe? Well, after asking her every 30 minutes, I uh, just discovered that she peed. And, and I don't even know where she put the panties because I found her wearing different panties so somehow she must have gotten a hold of a different pair of panties I don't know where where did she grab them 
Where is the pair that she was wearing? No, not in trash. Where's the pair that you peed in? Where'd you put it? You peed in a pair. Did you pee over here? Why is this wet? Where's the pair? Come on. You put it in there? I don't think you did. No, why she doesn't know where it is. I'm gonna be hunting for a pair of pee pee panties all day long. I'm just gonna say that there are a lot of mixed emotions about how today went regarding the whole diaperless stuff. I, she, I didn't get to record any of it because I was kind of doing homework and everything and I explained it to Melissa and stuff, but I had found her with a different pair of panties on and no pants and I was like, what happened? I'm looking around and I'm saying, well, where's this stuff? Where's this stuff? And I see the pair of pants and so I picked it up and everything and I was like, great, it's peed on, it's wet. And I'm like, you peed, why, did, why didn't you tell me? Because I've been going every 30 minutes and I've taken to the toilet and everything, but nothing happened. And then I couldn't find the panties and I looked for her and then I found him under the, under the couch. Apparently she tried to hide it or something. I, I was disappointed, but I mean, honestly, I, I should, Melissa brought up the point that I, we, we should be happy because she knew she was dirty and she took off the dirty clothes and wanted to put on something that was clean. So she had the concept of being dirty at least, which is like a step in the right direction. I just, I'm going to try again tomorrow. And I, and I was asking her like every 30-ish minutes, got to go potty? Let's go anyway. Come on. I put her on the toilet and stuff. At least it wasn't poop. It could have been worse, right? It could have been worse. But we're gonna go ahead and end it with that. Ellie's been trying to come upstairs lately because the fence isn't there anymore, so she thinks she can just come right on up and say hello to us. But no, 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 we still have the gate up top. You gotta stay down here. Sorry, Ellie. Anyway, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching as always. And I hope you don't pee your pants. <laughs>